we've learned about left and right hand limits. The left hand limit is asking about what happens when x approaches a from the left. So it's concerned with values of x that are over here to the left. And the right hand limit is talking about values of x that are close to a but on the right over here. Now, a lot of times we just want to think about values of x that are close to a, period, without restricting to one side or the other. And that is going to be the overall limit. We'll denote it by limit of f of x as x approaches a. So notice that there's no plus or minus sign here. And this will equal l if whenever x comes in close to a from either side, f of x gets really close to l. In other words, the overall limit equals l exactly when the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are both equal to this same number l. In pictures, it has to look like this. As we come in from the left, f of x is approaching l. And as we come in from the right, same thing. And we can denote this either with this limb notation or we can use arrows. f of x approaches l as x approaches a. But remember, limits only care about values of x that are close to a but not equal to a. So for the sake of the overall limit, it's not going to matter whether we have a dot for f of a. We could fill in the circle, or we could put a dot down here, or we could just not have a dot if f of a doesn't exist. Whatever. It won't affect the limit. Now, the overall limit might not exist. One way it might fail to exist is if the limit from one side does not exist. So, for instance, as we come in from the left, f of x might blow up to minus infinity or something. But another way is if the limit from the left and the limit from the right both exist, but they're not equal. Something like this. They have to both exist and be equal in order to get an overall limit. So that's the overall limit. Down the road, we'll stop saying overall and just any time we say the limit without specifying left or right will mean this overall limit. And this idea of the limit is really the building block for all of calculus. So we have some problems for you to get used to it, and then we'll start to develop quicker and more accurate ways of computing these limits. See you then.